Hi Virgo, welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn the Quantum Queen, and this is for the month of July. And as you guys might know, these are my astrology reads. So we're going to dive into each house, each area of your life. Oh yeah, Virgo, this is awesome. So bear with me and we will just dive right in. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Virgo and the message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with your situation. Keep in mind that these are general readings, and if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my information is down below in the description box, my website info, but I will let you guys know when the availability opens back up. And just so you guys know, whoever has subscribed with their email on my website and has reached out to me, those are the ones that I'm going to be giving first dibs to and opening up the readings to, and then I'll be rolling it out on the channel, okay? kind of first come first serve and as always just wanted to say thank you for liking subscribing and thank you for all the good karma donations okay virgo let's see interesting <laughs> i love this okay there's the dawn of swords so the way that you're going to be seeing yourself this month is it Actually, like, there's a little bit of similarities to Libra, just a tiny bit because you have the chariot, okay? That's in your first house. So with you, this could be that this is a month of moving for you, possible relocation. If it's not anything big like that, it's that you have a direction to go in. And you could be moving a lot. Like there could be an answer that's coming into you there maybe in the, for the past like six months or so you've been really confused about what direction to go in or what to do for yourself. You're finding a direction this month and now you have the willpower to move in that direction or start accomplishing that goal. It's like now you have the truth. You're like, yep, that's exactly what I need to be doing. That's where I need to be going. And you are moving towards that. In your second house, so we have the Dawn of Rings, the Dawn of Pentacles, which is perfect because that's in your second house of money. So I feel like for some of you guys, this could be the connection that you're finding out a new way to make money or some of you guys that could be a new job offer, okay? Um, that's very possible. And I feel like it's going to be a, this reflection of... Um, something that you've been taking care of and taking action on okay maybe it's just in regards to like your self-care or maybe a meditation but there's just something about you're doing something significant that clears your mind of that vibration of a question like what do i do or how do i accomplish this you've you will probably be doing something significant that's like maybe in regards to self-discipline that helps to get rid of that vibration it also could be connected to your fifth house over here but let me dive into that in just a little bit in your third house in the communication house we have the dawn of wands or i'm sorry not the dawn the queen of wands you could be connecting with a fire sign or just like um i feel like yeah there will be a lot of communication um to me, though, the way I see this, Virgo, this is more you. It's like you're coming in as you're moving really fast in the direction of this truth that you're receiving. You'll probably have someone that's like wanting to communicate with you quite a bit. And I feel as though someone's more like attracted to you. Okay. And it could be someone that, yeah, you're starting to feel some attraction towards. I would stay a little bit cautious of this because um, if this is someone that, okay, don't shoot me, but if this is someone that you feel a little bit of some sexual attraction towards, it's not to say sexual attraction is bad, okay? But if you start to feel like you're fantasizing a bit about being with this person sexually, it could be a reflection that you maybe still have some trauma bond energy that you're working out from the past, maybe in regards to some type of sexual trauma, either from your childhood or maybe from some type of past situation. So that's why I would be a little bit cautious because you might play out a similar um, kind of pattern that you've been involved in with your past relationships. So that's why I'm saying probably stay a little bit cautious because you might be a little bit tempted 
to go towards this person or maybe even be physical with them. And I don't think it's quite time. It's not to say that you guys can't date anyone or you can do whatever you want. I'm just pointing out the energies because I think that there's something that you're building on. There's just something really significant with all the signs about the retrogrades of as far as like building on something right now. And some like things could come in as a bit of a distraction. Okay. That's what I'm getting from all this. So we have in your fourth house, the Dawn of Cups, because I feel like for you, Virgo, there's this truth that's coming in or you finding a direction to head in or something like a goal that you're like, I really want this. And when you start moving in the direction of it, watch what happens because you have about a million type of distractions that will come in and try to pull you off of that path. And they're reflections of your shadow. So that's why sometimes like if you get distracted with those things or with those people, then it can um, pull you into a shame cycle. So that's why I'm saying like you have this Dawn of Cups, which means when you're at home or when you're taking care of something, there's like some things that you're curious about and you want to discover a little bit more. And I would go in that direction. Okay. You also have the Six of Cups in your fifth house. So this is healing. That's really good. Some of you guys also might be meeting some type of soulmate connection, whether that's a friend or a lover or someone throughout the month of July. Now, the other thing about this is something could be returning back from the past. And I wouldn't be surprised, especially with this being in the fifth house. You might not only have like old um, hobbies or sport things that you used to do in the past might be resurfacing for something that you want to dive into again with that connection. Also, I wouldn't be surprised too if you guys have someone reaching out from the past with us still being in Mercury retrograde. That's totally possible. So I would stay really cautious of that person because, yeah, it's not to say you guys can't connect with them, but. The thing is, you have the five of wands in your house, in your sixth house position. So this could bring a bit of some conflict to you and your health, maybe mentally or physically, however that applies to you guys. Because again, in your seventh house, Virgo, you have this huge thing around some type of partner that's communicating with you very quickly. And here's the thing, Virgo, I think that this person, like, they want... um to keep themselves on your mind. So that's why they're either reaching out a lot. That can be a lot with the eight of, oh, sorry, that I thought that was the eight of wands. That's the eight of pentacles. Well, that could be interesting because um, since I picked that up, yeah, that could be because seventh house is partnership. So some of you might, again, get some type of um, information or an email or a text message from another person that's totally possible someone from the past here's the thing though I think someone possibly wants to work on things with you but the other thing too is there's like a particular connection also I don't know who this is maybe it's a friend but you're like deciding to work on things with them and maybe it's someone that you kept thinking about and you were like ah, like I'm really thinking about this person a lot and it's in a positive way. It's nothing with like a lot of heavy pain around it. It's like you keep wondering about this person and thinking, how are they? And and as far as I can feel, it's just been a good connection between you and this person. And that could be someone that you're deciding to work on things with or come together with or like reach out and communicate with them. Maybe it's a friend or someone that it feels a bit more casual. It doesn't feel like this intense like love relationship, but I feel like it could be in some more celebratory moments because the good thing is you have the four of wands. So you're like... Your transformation throughout this month of July will be in you coming into connections that are like harmonious, okay? And that's where you're going to feel like an uplifting of your energy is, and it could be connected to this particular person. So maybe that's making you feel a little bit more like connected to yourself. And when you feel that level of like I'm actually connected with someone who has similar lifestyles to me or, you know, similar ideas or similar things. That's what I'm getting with this. And I think that's also connected to the lovers. 
right there in your 10th house. Some of you guys could be meeting this person at work because this is in your career. So it's very possible. But I'm kind of getting to that. It's interesting. In your ninth house, you have the two of wands. And that's independence and achievement. So I feel like on the side of all of this, there's something throughout the month of July that you're going to be doing kind of on your own. And maybe it's researching something or there's just certain things or hobbies that you could be getting into that. And for some of you, that could be traveling. Maybe you're planning to travel somewhere by yourself and maybe meet up with a particular person. I can see that's a possibility. And that could bring in this celebration, like this union of, oh, like so excited to see another person that could be coming in throughout the month of July, which is really awesome. In your 11th house, um, I think there's also new connections coming in, definitely, because this is the house of social networking. Sorry, guys. And social networking and wishes and dreams. So there's like a new... Uh, this also could be new intuitive downloads that you guys are getting. But the other side of this too, this could be a new love interest. Not going to lie at all. And also... Not to confuse you guys at all, but with Mercury retrograde, like I said, there could be this connection of someone that's coming back from the past that wants to offer some type of love or connection. And here's the thing, with the Dawn of Swords being in your 12th house, you might actually struggle a little bit with whether you want to let them back in or not. Whether you're going to cut off the connection, whether you're going to cut contact with this person, you could be at a bit of conflict over whether what you should do in regards to this person or how to communicate also you guys might have a weakness towards this other person and like you could actually respond to them and then it opens up the doors of a connection like to be honest with this whole layout it could be there's two sides of the coins that i'm seeing in relationships that you could be dealing with because you have a lot of court cards okay you could be dealing with a Gemini as well, just saying. But you've got earth, you've got fire, you've got water here and air. So you've got all elements on the board of who you could be dealing with. So it could be really any sign. So keep that in mind. But that Dawn of Swords could be a little bit that you're still learning. Like if this is an actual Hoover, someone's trying to Hoover you back into their life, you could struggle a little bit with the boundaries of that. Like learning how to truly cut this person out or go completely no contact. That could be a lesson that some of you guys are learning from. So really stay open to that because that could be like a little bit of a test to see if you've learned your lesson in regards to a specific connection and maybe steps that you'll need to take to actually remove yourself from that relationship and from that dynamic so it could be the shadow side that you're dealing with in a particular connection but I'm going to go ahead and dive into the extended with this and see what other details want to come out so if you guys want to join me over there definitely feel free go down below click on the Vimeo link and I'll see you over there but Virgo if this is where we leave things I'm sending you guys so much love wishing you all the very best and I'll see you in your next reading take care